Well, hey everybody. Uh, yeah, not sure how long today's video is going to be. Uh, so, or, or how much energy I'm going to have to do it. Uh, I've been just snowed under with the flu. Uh, I, like, have just been falling asleep every three hours or so. Every three hours, take like a three to five hour nap. Uh, <laughs> it's been one of those kind of sicknesses. I don't know if you're going to hear it in my voice, but I am still not doing fantastic. I'm doing better than I was. And so, yeah, we're, we're just going to try and keep it light today by reviewing basically Tetris. Now, Tetra Punk is a very straightforward Tetris game. Uh, let me define it for you a little bit in terms of what it does not have. Uh, it does not have multiplayer at all. You cannot play like multiplayer local. You cannot play multiplayer anything. It's just not happening. There's no multiplayer version in this entire thing is just not available uh so if you want to play against another person have them play it at the same time there are leaderboards that is true um there are only two game modes there's one where it's like try and score as much as you can in 60 seconds which is i don't know it's kind of dumb if you ask me because if you're gonna settle in for some Tetris, like, you should settle in for as long as you can play. Now, you will notice that my Tetris playing skills uh, leave something to be desired. Uh, you, you might be wondering to yourself, does he not know about, like, the classic Tetris World Championship and all the boom Tetris for Jeffs and all that sort of stuff? I do know. I watch that stuff religiously. I know all about, like, uh, you know, rolling and tapping and all of the methods that uh, people use in order to, like, uh, be able to play that game at an insane level, at a level the developers did not even intend. And I know myself well enough to know that when it comes to puzzle type games this is not my domain this is my wife's domain she is much better at this kind of stuff than i am this is just facts about the world and so i am not great at tetris but i always have loved tetris since the days of uh you know t the original tetris on the game boy and uh the tetris on the nes the like bajillion knockoffs that came out for DOS and Windows and stuff like I've played me a lot of versions of Tetris this one is as bare bones as it gets but it does have two things going for it number one is that it looks like it's made out of Nixie tubes uh, if you don't know what Nixie tubes are, go over and see one of my favorite YouTubers of all time, Tech Moan. Uh, if you care about like vintage electronics at all, especially like vintage audio stuff, and you want to see someone like mucking about with like Teffy Fawn and uh, like wire recorders and stuff like that. And Nixie tubes, so many Nixie tubes. Guy loves him some Nixie tubes. So yeah, you can learn all about it over at Techmoan, and I would encourage you to go see his channel. He's one of my favorite dudes of all time. Anyway, um, but yeah, Nixie tubes. It's a classic vacuum tube era technology from back in the day when like electronics ran off of tubes and so it's a certain like the reason i believe that it's called tetropunk is because it's supposed to be steampunk but like is it steampunk if nixie tubes exist 
because by the time electricity existed and we had Nixie tubes, weren't steam engines on the way out? I don't know. It seems historically inaccurate. Uh, whatever. Who cares? Uh, but it's got this really cool Nixie tube type look. And when you have a piece against the wall, it makes the grindy, grindy sound. And the soundtrack, which you are not actually hearing because uh, the soundtrack is some like uh, electro swing. It's like uh, swing music, jazz swing music from back in the day that has had electronic stuff done to it. So the fun part of this review is going to be for you to try and figure out which parts of it are parts where I paused to like blow my nose or cough or like make other nasty sick person sounds that you don't want to be hearing in your video. So yeah. But anyway, this has got an electro swing soundtrack. Uh, which is, you know, at first I was like, eh, but it kind of like, it, it, you, you start to enjoy it over time, is true, you can't not, is definitely, um, enjoyable, and it makes the game fun. Now, here's the other thing about it, is that this game increases speed so slowly over time, it's hardly noticeable. Um... Maybe a part of that is a function of, like, me not clearing enough lines quickly enough, therefore, like, me not progressing through the levels very well. And I know that you're thinking, you're like, hey, is he doing left well, right well, center well? I'm just trying to stay alive, like, literally and figuratively. <laughs> I, I, I'm sick as a dog, and so I'm trying to stay alive there, but also, like, I am doing my best to not top out in this game, uh, and so, yeah, I'm very obviously not a competitive Tetris player, but, you know what, like, this is a fun little Tetris game even though it lacks a lot of the competitive bells and whistles and stuff that you would want if you were a more competitive Tetris player, for a casual Tetris player, this is kind of perfect. You know, if you're like me and you're just like, every now and again you get the itch and you're like, oh, I want to play some Tetris. This is kind of a nice version to play. Uh, so, yeah. It's... It, it is pretty nice. It's pretty fun. Are there probably better versions of Tetris on Steam? Yeah, absolutely. I guarantee there are. Like, but this is the one that the Russians bought for me when they hacked my account. And so it was already in my Steam account when I reclaimed it. You know the story, probably. I refer to it often. But yeah, this was purchased for me by R Russians, which means that like, because I forget what game, they were doing everything else as auto achiever stuff so that they could get all of the achievements and then sell stuff. I don't know how Steam, like the marketplace for selling those cards and gems and jewel packs and all that nonsense. I don't know how it works because that has never been a part of Steam that I have ever had any interest in, but the Russians, like, they, they bought games that they could get auto-achiever stuff with, mostly. And so, a lot of the games that I have in my library are games that you can auto-achieve, which this one apparently is. Uh, but I don't care. Like, it's still fun to play. Uh, is it great? Is it the best version of Tetris I could find? No, it is not. <laughs> there are ways in which it is definitely lacking. And I'll tell you, at full price, the $4.99 that they ask for, no way. 
not worth it at that price point. Uh, but you know, once upon a time, my wife was like, I want Tetris on my computer. And I was like, well, I have kind of a fun Tetris game. Let's go see. And it was on sale for 99 cents. And I was like, that is the price. That is how much it should be. So while I was paused there for a cough, which you didn't even notice, did you? Haha. <laughs> But anyway, I took a little bit of time to shop around on Steam and look at what other Tetris games are out there. Obviously, Tetris Effect is like a massively successful game. And if you're really serious about Tetris, that is the one to get. It's 40 bucks. You know, I'm sure it goes on sale, but like, whatever. Um, a lot of the other Tetris games are like, oh, it's Tetris, but... And then they've added some other gameplay mechanic on top of it. Uh, it's so, yeah, it's, it's not even pure Tetris anymore. So, this game is actually one of the few, like, uh, pure Tetris that, like, will scratch that Tetris itch casually like if you're not a casual player you should just get tetris effect like you probably already have it if you're not a casual player if you're like serious about your tetris but if you're like me and i don't know like <laughs> the way i record these voiceovers i'm not watching my own footage so i don't know what you're actually seeing but in a way, I do know what you're seeing because what you're seeing is some not great footage of me playing Tetris. Kind of frustrating. You'll be yelling at your screen like, those long pieces are a gift. I don't remember where I was in this review. You have to forgive me. You know I'm sick. Anyway, uh... Regardless, let me put a final score on it. I don't know how much longer I can keep talking without, like, devolving into a coughing fit. So, final score-wise, for Tetropunk, we are going a 7.5 out of a possible 10 T-pieces from Game Boy Tetris. Which, if you ever played it on the Game Boy, because of the single color, they had to go by pattern and not by color because there was no color on the screen and that's the first tetris i ever played because i am old as we have established anyway uh so yeah that's what it is it's good enough is, is it a perfect tetris game no is it uh the best of all possible tetris games also no is it good enough for your casual tetris enjoyer to pick it up and have some fun with it. Oh, absolutely. So, yeah. Go ahead and enjoy this game when it's on sale. I would not suggest it at the full buying price. That seems a bit much. I don't know. Maybe that's because I just... I, I love buying things when they're deeply, deeply discounted. That's how I roll. That's the existence of this entire channel, pretty much. Anyway, people, I'm going to stop talking because it kind of hurts a little bit. Anyway, that's going to do it for this one. I will see you in the next one. Okay, bye.